Hello and welcome to our channel, dear viewers. Today we are going to have fun learning more about a famous city in Italy called Turin. This city often gets overlooked when people are touring Italy. However, today we are here to tell you about all the magic and wonder it has hidden in itself. Stay tuned right till the end to catch up on some of the most funny and interesting things you can do while visiting Turin. History Turin, also known as Torino in Italian, is the capital city of the Piemonte region and the Torino province. Turin has a rich history that started with the barbarians, who dominated the region back in the 4th century when the decline of Rome took place. Right after that, Turin was made part of the Kingdom of the Lobardans, then moved on to the Frankish Empire as well. During the wars of Spanish succession in the year 1706, Turin was besieged and even before that in 1640. Later on, Turin was termed as the first ever capital of United Italy back in 1861 to the year 1865. Although during World War II, Turin had to face a lot of damage as a result of heavy air raids, being home to royals of the world, this place is home to tons of fine palaces, from the Madama Palace to Carignano Palace and more, there is a lot that this place has to offer when it comes to history and culture. Education-wise too, this city plays a huge role in the Western world as the University of Turin was founded in the year 1404. After that, tons of other educational institutes came into place. Today, Turin has come a long way and has been known to be associated with the famous Fiat, the automobile industry. Main sites. When people think of visiting Italy, the first two things that come into their minds are food and culture. About culture, the monuments and the sites play a huge role. This is why we are here to present the most important and famous sites of all Italy. If you think that all this place has to offer is landscapes, then you're very wrong. Let's find out more about this place. Starting off the trip, there is the famous Sacro Monte Natural Reservation, located in Belmonte. Here you will find an area that has been established since the year 1980 and has one of the oldest town vibes ever. Next up, on the list of main sites in Turin, there is the Gran Paradiso National Park. This park is the best place for you to be if you are a lover of nature or if you have children with you who will be fascinated with the wonders it holds. Here in this park are tons of animals, rare birds, marmots, chamois and a lot more. A big part of its history is Savoy. There are the famous mountain fortresses that you will like to visit. This includes the famous Forte Xil and the Forte Fenestrelle. These forts can be found right near the old and stunning Via Francigena. Here are other places to visit. As you go in the countryside, you will find the most impressive and famous monuments located in the whole Piedmont, known as the Sacra di San Michele. Once you go through the historic towns of Turin, you will find that a lot of history, including the hamlet of Melezet, Susa and Chieri, was based here. Things to do in Turin Visiting Turin for the first time and you don't know what to do there? Well, here we are to help you out. When you visit Turin, the first thing we will suggest you to do is to head to Piazza Castello. This is the most famous square of all Turin and the best part is that there are tons of other sites around it. There are water jets inside the castle and you can have an ice cream or two as well. Piazza Castello, which was built in the year 1646, has tons of spots you can visit such as the Royal Gardens, the Royal Library, the king's apartment and even the armory filled with armored riders and stuffed horses. 
Did you know that Turin is the birthplace of cinema in Italy? Yes, it is. To find out more, you can head to the National Museum of Cinema, situated in Mole Antonelliana. This museum has a panoramic elevator that has transparent walls. From here, you can get a complete 360-degree view of the city. If you're looking for a bit of Egyptian culture, we suggest you to head over to the Museo Egizio. This museum is the second largest Egyptian museum in the world, after the one built in Cairo. There are four floors in this museum, with tons of display rooms that hold collections including statues, mummies and sarcophagi. Lastly, you should end the tour by heading to the Museo dell'Automobile, which is the Automobile Museum. Added to the list of the 50 best museums in the world by Times, this museum has around 200 cars that belong to 80 different brands, from the rarest to the latest models. It has everything. And there you have it, folks! This was a small yet detailed tour of the city of Turin. Please like the video and subscribe for more funny and useful contents.